Even only recently, in, in 1992, it, it was the 500th anniversary centenary, centennial of the, the, the age of discovery. But my question was, at that point in time, who was discovered? Was it the people here or Columbus? It was Columbus. That's what they should actually have been saying. But what you, what you have to deal with is the mentality. Not Columbus himself, because Columbus was very late. And, and historians recognize now that many people made it across long before Columbus. That's another lecture in itself. But African people made it across, Muslims made it across, Vikings made it across, Phoenicians made it across. Many different na nations were able to come across the Atlantic and the Pacific on the other side too and come into the Americas. The important point is the mentality. It is, a, it is the mentality where you deny the civilization of the other people. Just imagine this now. We look at the picture and we see Columbus landing on the shore and he's looking at people. And it says Christopher Columbus discovered America in 1492. I tried this out, man. I went to Nigeria, Kenya, Malaysia, Hong Kong, Singapore, and I said to the people, who discovered America? They said Christopher Columbus. I said, when? They said 1492. I said, did you look at the picture? They said, oh, that's right. There's other people in the picture. So this mentality of exclusion, the mentality where people are living there, yet you don't recognize their humanity, that is the one that is the poison that destroyed the relationships where racism became a tool of oppression and a tool of mental and physical exploitation.